Hello again, and welcome to our weekly class on the Torah portion. I'm Sandra Barris, and it's wonderful to be back here with you again. This week's portion is Korach, and it's named for the man, Korach, who makes a lot of trouble, beginning in Numbers uh, chapter 16. Uh, what I'd like to do today, first of all, is give you a bit of exposure to how Rashi, a classic Jewish commentator that we rely so heavily on, how he interprets it and some of the insights that he enables us to share in this, and then go forward to some other issues uh, that arise from this story. So let's begin. Now Korach, the son of Yitzhar, son of Kehat, son of Levi, took, I'm going to go back to that, the, the translation says, betook himself. But actually in Hebrew, the word is vayikach, basically what the translation says, and Korach took, but it doesn't say who or what he took. Anyway, along with Datan and Aviram, the sons of Eliab, uh, and On, the son of Pelet, descendants of Reuben. And they rose up against Moses, together with 250 Israelites, chieftains of the community, chosen the assembly, men of repute. They combined against Moses and Aaron and said to them, you have gone too far. For all the community are holy, all of them, and the Lord is in their midst. Why then do you raise yourselves above the, above the Lord's congregation? So clearly, uh, from the outset, we can see, or at least from the claim that they make, that they are disputing Moses's and Aaron's leadership. Uh, perhaps they want to share the leadership. Perhaps they believe that um, Moses and Aaron set themselves as holier or better than everyone else. That is completely clear, but there's no question that this is a rebellion uh, which uh, challenges the leadership of Moses and Aaron. Okay, so Korach, uh, so Rashi, uh, just a few nice little things that he says. First of all, Vaikach Korach, a Korach took. And we started by saying that in the Hebrew, uh, it's written in a very strange way because you don't know who or what he took. The way the Hebrew is written, it doesn't say that Korach took himself. And it doesn't say that Korach took all these other fellows that end up joining him in approaching Moses and Aaron. It just says he took. So in comes the Midrash, which Rashi quotes, and he says, he took himself to another side to separate himself from the congregation in order to challenge the priesthood of Aaron. Now, uh, what this does is they took the word he took, and they say, basically, and he took himself. But by um, the scripture having an unclear um, word here, saying took, it doesn't say what he took. It's not just that he took himself, but it's the act of the taking, the act of the separation, the act of putting himself somewhere else. That becomes the focus of this sentence. Okay. Now, um, later on, then Rashi explains what exactly was the dynamic here and fills in a bit of the story that helps us to understand what exactly got Korach so upset. To watch this program in its entirety, go to www.glc.us.com or simply click the link below.